M P K Hobby R C. Not too old for humans under the age of fourteen. Hey guys, I'm M P K, and this is my R C hobby. So I've been making some uh, jersey barriers, as you can see. I actually uh, literally just saw that uh, Dig It R C uh, put out a video making, uh, showing how he made his. And, uh, well, I was literally about to do this video when I saw his. So I thought, I'm just going to make the video. <laughs> uh, he has a different way. He uses silicon mold. Um, never really used silicon, so I'm using a different way. I make my molds out of foam. Um, so, like, this was the first try. As you can see, I was using a... a I think this is um, probably 1.5 or yeah, probably 1.5 centimeters. Uh, basically, I just cut them out uh, a flat form and then uh, glued them all together and made the mold like that. So that was the first one. This was the second one. Uh, yeah, it broke, but like, because there's wire in there, it's staying together. So, in my eyes, I can still use these ones. That's my RC. Um, said I should uh, experiment with using clean film. And, uh, you know, it's as a release, as a way to release it easily. But uh, as you can see, the problem with the clean film is uh didn't really stick to the um, the, the foam molds. So you got all these like creases and it's, it's like rounded and everything. So, I mean, it's still usable, but yeah, I, I don't think clean film's good for foam molds. But as you can see here, these are starting to come out really nicely, or in my opinion, at least you can see the grain of the wood I used. So on these, on, on like the, the older ones, I used like a, a wood as a as a way to stop the mold. Uh, I'll show you that all in a minute. Then, as you can see here, it's a lot smoother. Um, this is I went for plastic, and uh, yeah, that just like popped right out really nicely. You can see the uh, I really like the texture. It's uh, it's not quite you know it's not smooth as, as a as this is, but I really like having a little bit of texture to them the jersey barriers i think it looks cool and you can see here uh, i used five centimeter um, foam thick foam and uh yeah it makes 15 by seven centimeters um yeah pretty cool i made my uh, bits for the fork basically just on the edge of the middle one the middle uh foam and uh, that just makes it easier. So I know so every time it's the same, the same width. And I like that it's so deep. I don't know, that's just aesthetics. I really, I prefer that it's deeper than uh, smaller. I just think that doesn't look as good as that. I don't know, it's, it's purely the way I, I, I think it looks. All right, so. I've got some here. Now, I want to make some more. I'm going to try, well, definitely I'm going to make four more, but maybe I'll make some more molds and uh, yeah, do it all in one. All right, well, uh, yeah, I'll show you how I make the molds now. So I uh, literally just created these on uh, Illustrator. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Drew the lines mirrored it, put it in a box, and basically the mold will be like that. Each piece of uh, foam will just be one of these squares, and I'll just glue it up together. But yeah, got quite a lot to cut out now, so let's do that.
So now I'm obviously just going to cut them out. I'm going to be using a scroll saw. But if you have a hot wire cutter, you could probably just make a single mold out of wood and then use that to uh, a pattern out of wood and then use that to cut out this foam using a hot wire cutter. Uh, if you do that, it's probably better because then you won't have to sand it down like I'm going to have to do. But yeah, let's just cut these out first. I guess if you took your time, you could probably, like, get rid of those lines. But, uh, as I said, I quite like the look of them. Instead of rebar, just use, uh, this mesh. And that's pretty much a mold. <laughs> so these are the molds. Once they're finished, I uh, put a little bit of uh, metal in there as rebarb. And yeah, these are only single use molds. But yeah, uh, I guess I could, now that I have made one, I could make a silicon mold like Digit RC does. But I got loads of this building foam. Um, yeah, the only thing that really costs me is this plastic and this, uh, metal wire, uh, metal mesh. And obviously the, the concrete itself. This is stuff I buy here. Uh, it's what I can get. Blitzcrete or concrete that goes off quickly. I mean, they say it's quickly, but it still takes like about a day or a few couple hours, I would say till it's like enough to take off the mold and then obviously it takes a long time to cure but yep this is it so i've just uh filled them all up and uh yeah let's let's leave that for about I'm gonna say about two hours, and then I'll uh, take them upstairs into the warmth. So they've been drying now for, I'd say a good four hours, five hours maybe. Um, yeah, moment of truth. So I did pour a little bit too much in, but yeah, whatever, let's see how it goes. So, moment of truth. Normally if you just wiggle it a bit, it comes out. Pretty good, I reckon. Obviously gonna have to go through here and clean it up a bit. But that's pretty, pretty doable. 
I guess you could use these molds again, but they've been like so destroyed and sometimes they break. But yeah, let's let's get the rest of these out of here and uh, compare the results. And there you have it. Five more Jer Jersey barriers. Um, I don't know if I perfected it, the method, but uh, I do really like the way these come out. Now that 11, so I think for now that should be fine. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll make some more when I need them. But yeah, that's how I make my molds and how I make my Jersey barriers going to be quite a long video already but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you made it this far as always thanks and uh i hope you guys have a, a very happy or merry christmas and well i'll probably make a video before the new year's but yeah merry christmas everyone bye